In this video, I want to talk about the upcoming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 Ti graphics card, as well as a possible return of the new RTX Titan and an update on the RTX 4000 series release dates. But mainly, I will focus on the 4090 Ti, covering its specs, gaming performance, release date and price. It is an amazing piece of hardware, but not as amazing as Surfshark VPN. Why you might need a VPN? There are many reasons, from staying anonymous to quality of life improvements. For example, I use it to unlock my favorite TV shows on Netflix and other streaming platforms. Because France is not available in my country for some bizarre reason. But with just a click, I can virtually travel to any country in the world and watch any geo-blocked content I like. And what I appreciate the most is that Surfshark has a strict no-log policy, which means that they don't collect your data no matter what. Oh, and the VPN also keeps your browsing private and secure, which is especially important when using a public Wi-Fi. Additionally, Surfshark VPN is very affordable and allows you to connect unlimited number of devices unlike the competition. Interested? Then click the link in the description below and use the code IVADIM to get 83% off and an extra 3 months for free. Now back to the video. Let's start with the RTX 4090 Ti specs. If you have been watching my previous videos, then you know by now that RTX 4090 will use a cut-down version of a D102 GPU chip manufactured on the TSMC 4 nanometer node featuring close to 16,000 CUDA cores. Well, 4090 Ti is likely to use the full version of a D102 chip, equipped with 18,432 CUDA cores and 96 MB of cache paired with 24GB of up to 24 gigabit per second GDDR6X memory that Micron has announced not so long ago. It will be a nice boost over the 21 gigabit per second GDDR6X that Nvidia plans to use in RTX 4090. Alternatively, Nvidia can opt in to configure 4090 Ti with close to 17,000 CUDA cores and bring back RTX Titan graphics card using the full AD102 chip mentioned above in combination with massive 48 gigabytes of memory. Either way, RTX 4090 Ti will be very powerful as well as power hungry. In the lab, Nvidia tested AD102 based prototypes with 6 to 900 watts TDP. But I expect the final product to launch with close to 600W TDP because cooling a 900W card would require a very exotic cooler that is even larger than a 4-slot brick of a graphics card that you see on your screen now. By the way, it is a 3D concept RTX 4090 Ti we created for your viewing pleasure, so if you are enjoying it, then tap the like button and comment below to let me know that. And I will make sure to produce more videos like this in the future, featuring other upcoming graphics cards as well. According to the latest leaks, the RTX 4000 series release dates have been pushed back a little because there is still a lot of unsold RTX 3000 series stock. The updated release dates are as follows. RTX 4090 in September, RTX 4080 in October, RTX 4070 in November. And we could see Nvidia reveal the mid-range RTX 4060 at CES 2023 in January, but that one is not confirmed yet. Unfortunately, there is no solid info on the RTX 4090 Ti release date, so stay tuned for updates. I think that how soon we will see the 4090 Ti depends on how good AMD's upcoming RX 7000 series GPUs are. If they have something that can match or beat RTX 4090, then Nvidia will surely hurry to reveal the 4090 Ti. Because if I know anything about Nvidia, it is that Jensen does not like to lose to anyone. As for the price, expect the MSRP to be close to $2000 unless it is heavily contested by an AMD alternative. Which I think it won't be. At least not by a meaningful amount, because both companies love making money. AMD does not want to be perceived as a cheaper alternative brand any longer. Next up is the RTX 4090 Ti gaming performance at 4K resolution. A quick disclaimer, we know the performance target of RTX 4090 which I covered in another video. The 4090 Ti data is an estimation based on that. 
I want to be very clear that this is not a real benchmark. These charts are designed to give you a rough idea of what to expect from the next generation of graphics cards compared to the current gen. In summary, I expect RTX 4090 Ti to be twice as fast as RTX 3090. Cyberpunk 2077 is a perfect example of the GPU demanding games right now, but in the near future this may change as true next-gen games start arriving in 2023. That is over 100 FPS average on high-quality preset at 4K. Rainbow Six Siege is a light game that is a good example of an average competitive title. Up to 426 FPS on ultra settings. Expect to see close to 140 FPS in Borderlands 3 for that ultra smooth experience on a 4K 144Hz monitor. Assassin's Creed Valhalla should allow the 4090 Ti to reach 120 FPS average on ultra high quality preset. Close to 200 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider is looking especially promising. Expect over 180 FPS in Horizon Zero Dawn on Ultimate preset. The Amazon Delivery Employee Simulator, Death Stranding, should be able to run at above 230 FPS if the game engine and the CPU allows it. And finally, Watch Dogs Legion should see over 120 FPS average on Ultra Quality preset at 4K resolution. Like it or not, RTX 4090 Ti is shaping up to be the most powerful gaming graphics card. Who knows, maybe it will be good even for 8K gaming, at least using DLSS on quality or balanced preset. What do you think about this monster GPU? I am waiting to read your thoughts in the comments below. It was I, Vadim, until next time.